we can now run a modal analysis to find our building's periods and mode shapes. This aids in finding the forces our structure must undergo due to earthquakes. Click Run Analysis or click Analyze Run Analysis. Be sure that the modal is set to run, then click Run Now. Save the model in your favorite spot. At the moment, SAP is displaying the dead analysis. For modal, click Display, Show Deformed Shape. Click Modal from the drop down. Press OK. Our period for mode 1 is 0.3999. If we want to view the animation, press Start Animation, the building begins to sway. This is mode 1 for this direction. If we would like mode 2, click the next arrow. This is mo our mode 2 at period 0.1157 seconds. As you can see, most of the modes are out of plane and they will be odd mode modes. These periods and mode shapes allow us to calculate the structure's base shear and story forces for ASC 7. Next, press Unlock, press OK. From the periods and mode shapes, we are able to determine the forces on our structure. Now we need to decide what forces to apply and how to apply them to our model. Click Define, Load Patterns. Here we'll define our live load enter live into the name box, change type to live and multiplier to 1, click add new, repeat this for earthquake, select quake in type and press add new pattern. This allows us to label our loads as either dead, live, or earthquake. Select the joint at the center of mass that we defined earlier so we can apply earthquake forces to it. Do not select frame sections, just the joint. Click Assign, Joint Loads, Forces. Select Earthquake from the drop down and check your units. We'll apply loads in the X and Y global directions. For the first floor, we get 55.8 kips. Press OK. On the second floor, we'll select the same joint, click Assign, Joint Loads, Forces. This force will be 101.4 kips in both directions. Press OK. SAP has applied our loads. Now we'll apply our uniform live load to the floor slabs. Select the 12 areas defined earlier. Click Assign Area Loads Uniform Shell. Select Live from the drop down. Our load is given in pounds per square foot. Select pounds and feet for units. The load is 80 pounds per square foot. The load is in the gravity direction, which in SAP means downward. Press OK. As you can see, once we change our units to pounds and feet, we see that SAP has applied our, our downward 80 pounds per square foot load. 
Next we must define load combinations per ASCE 7. Click define load combinations. Click add new combos. This allows us to factor our loads and apply multiple loads at the same time. First we have dead with a scale factor of 1.2. Click add then live with a scale factor of 1.6. Press add then OK. Our load combination is now in the list. Click add new load combo. This will be 1.2 dead plus 1.0 live plus 1.0 earthquake. Press OK. Click Add New Load Combo. This load combo will be 1.2 dead plus 1.0 live plus 1.0 oh, minus 1.0 earthquake. Set the scale factor on earthquake as negative 1.0. Press OK. Press OK. Now we are ready to run our analysis. This will be done in the same fashion as with the modal analysis by clicking the play button. Click run now. To see how our building is influenced by our loads, click display, show the form shaped, Select Combo 2, which is our earthquake combination, and press OK. We can see how our building deforms with the loads applied. We can view this in 2D by selecting the right window. Click Display, Show Deformed Shape, Combo 2. SAP can also display shear and moment diagrams for the members. Click Display, Show Forces and Stresses, Frames, Cables, and Tendons. Select Load Combo 2, select Moment in the 2-2 direction, and press OK. SAP displays the moment diagrams for the members having moment in this direction. Click display, show forces and stresses, frames, cables, and tendons. Change it to the 3-3 three, three direction. Press OK. SAP again displays the moment diagrams for the members having moment in this direction. Now if we look at the deformed shape and move the cursor over the joints we can see the displacements. U1 is the displacement in the x-direction at 0 0.013 feet. Changing the units to inches, we see 0.15 inches. This information is available for all of our joints. SAP also tabulates these values. Click Display. Show Tables, Joint Output, Displacements. Click OK. For each load combo, we can see how the joints displace and rotate. 
This is an easy way to export to Excel if need be, and a great way for inputting into a spreadsheet. That concludes our analysis of the 3D structure using SAP.